This is the Steam Deck. It's a handheld portable gaming system from Valve. It's been out for a couple of years now and it's been in a few of my previous videos. But what it also is, is a full-fledged PC. So it can install anything that we install on a normal PC, which includes things like Alarma. So in this video, I'm gonna be checking out how well Alarma runs on it, trying out a few models, and seeing if we get it installed, what sort of speeds we're getting in tokens per second. So with all that said, let's get on with things. So the first thing I wanna do here is actually boot up the Steam Deck, change it up into uh, desktop mode. So I'll just quickly switch out, go into the power and switch to desktop. Now I'm not suggesting you go out and buy one of these just to be able to run Alarma on it. It's not gonna perform as well as say a full-fledged PC or a MacBook Pro running this stuff. But if you've got one lying around and you wanna try it out and you wanna use it as a desktop PC, then it might be a viable way to try out different AI models. And I've already done this on the Raspberry Pi, so we're gonna be doing a bit of a comparison between how well it performs on the Raspberry Pi and what we've got here in terms of the Steam Deck. So here we are in desktop mode. Um, I'm going straight to the Alarma webpage and try and install this. Now, if you remember some of my previous videos, I've actually already set up this machine with Python. You can go and watch a video on that if you want. Um, but I've used DistroBox in the past for that stuff. So let's see if we're able to install Alarma just right off the bat without having to do anything special. And the reason we use DistroBox before is because, so it has a user space and it'll basically overwrite that. So it'll overwrite everything that's in the home directory um, every time you upgrade, not ideal. Uh, we do have Brew on this machine. Again, you can go and watch the video on that and how I did that and installed everything. Um, let's just open up a terminal. If I can remember, it's called console, okay. And let's just copy this command. We can see that we are the deck user and let's see if this will actually run. I'm fully expecting this will break. Okay, so it's telling me it can't create user bin and alarma because it's a read-only file system. It's kind of expected. Let me see if this will install using brew because we already have brew. Do we have our brew? Is it Linux brew? Okay, where's brew? So it does look like, because uh, Steam OS has been updated since I made my last videos on Steam and using the Steam Deck, that actually it's worked out all the user space and therefore we don't have uh, Brew, we don't have um, everything else that I installed onto the root of the machine there, but we do still have DistroBox there and we do still have DistroBox um, installation of Ubuntu 22.10. So what I'm going to do, I think, is try and install Alarma, Alarma within DistroBox. So if we do DistroBox, and I think it's list, um, shows us the various installs we have. I've already pulled that version, so I might as well go ahead and use it. You do that by doing DistroBox enter, and then it basically sets up your terminal as if you've entered it. And it's entered, you can see I'm at deck Ubuntu 22.10. Now, what we're interested to know is if Alarma now will install just happily within that. Because basically what we're running there is container on top of the Steam Deck. And how much that hampers its speed. Okay, cool, so that has actually installed. Uh, it says it's able to run for the command line. I need to pull the model, so that's gonna take some time now. Let's actually go with Llama 3, so the most recent one from uh, Meta, and just see how well it's able to form that. I think that's a seven billion parameter model, it's about four gigs, so it's gonna take a while to pull it if it can. So if I just actually do a Llama run rather than a Llama Llama 3, let's see how long is it actually running. So we found a route in, we had to serve the models obviously before pulling down Llama 3. I'm gonna sit here and wait for this pull down, speed up the video and let's see how, how it goes. So I've actually pulled down a number of different models as well as Llama 3. I've pulled down Llama 2 sense, uncensored uh, and Lava because those are the two models that I used on my Raspberry Pi video and I felt like that was a good better comparison to make. 
Um, so I'm going to kick off with Llama 2 Uncensored. When I was running this on um, the Raspberry Pi, we were getting like two, just under two tokens a second. And uh, we, with the smaller models, we were getting much faster, but actually the result, the, the quality of what they were giving us wasn't very good. So let's run that. Um, and if I supply verbose, we'll know how many uh, tokens per second we're using. Um, so I will ask it why is the sky blue, which is the classic question that we'd give to a llama. Okay, so it's actually giving us a proper answer. You can see it's actually fairly fast there. Um, so we're getting 5.25 tokens a second, which is about, I think it's almost three times what we were getting on the Raspberry Pi. So you can see that it was quite a decent uh, response time that we were getting there. Let's now try Llama 3, because that's going to be a bit slower. But actually, it's... what it will give us is a better quality answer. I'm going to ask it to write a regular expression to match email addresses. And that's the same one as what we're doing on uh, um, Raspberry Pi. But interestingly here, we've not had to use this uncensored model that uh, the Llama 3 is a bit clever about figuring out boundaries and what's acceptable and so we get a fairly verbose answer there, breaking down everything that's in there. I'm not going to match that because it's more about uh, whether or not the performance that we're getting back rather than the quality of it. So it's possible that it could be a halluc it could be hallucinating there. I'm not going to go off and check that too thoroughly now. Okay, so we can see there we're getting 4.6 tokens, so slower, but um, we do get an answer, and it's we're not having to use an unsen uncensored model, which is good. Um, so yeah, we, we obviously Llama 3 is going to return a higher quality answer, but a bit slower. Let's now try Lava. So Lava is obviously the model for checking out images and being able to support multimodal stuff. So we're able to inspect images and say what they are and do stuff with them. I've already downloaded the Steam Deck image and I've actually named it image.png so it does not know that it's a Steam Deck and it's not going to hallucinate um, from the image file name. And Llama has access to this because it's shared within the container space that Distrobox has. So let's do the Llama run Lava. We've got what to make sure that's verbose as well. Okay, what is this image? I fully expect this to be quite a bit slower because it's dealing with images. We'll see. Okay, so it's recognized it as a Nintendo Switch gaming console. So it's actually. Um, it does look a bit like a Switch uh, gaming console, to be fair. Uh, so it's recognised as a gaming console. I was wondering if we might have to do a few different images for it to recognise it. It's given us lots of details about the Switch. And the eval rate is actually slightly faster, so 4.98 uh, tokens seconds, which is not bad. Um, yeah, so proven that we can run Alama on the uh, um, Steam Deck, which obviously we should be able to because it is just a Linux PC. Had to do it within Distrobox. There is a possibility of being able to, uh, you could alternatively make the space, user space um, mutable, so you're able to write to it. So Alama is able to write out there. I don't really want to mess with my Steam Deck that much. The other thing to note is obviously these models are fairly sizable. If we come out of this, um, and is it list? Yeah, so looking at all those models, we've got a total of almost, oh, that's over 12 gigs, so maybe 13 gigabytes or so. 
That's obviously space that's being used up on the NVMe. I've only got a 256 gig NVMe, and you might want to clear those models out uh, in order to save space. But uh, yeah, we're able to run it. It runs fairly well. If you've got nothing other than a Steam Deck, then you might want to try out AI stuff on this. Maybe in the future it'll run a bit faster because it might be able to use the GPU at some point in the future rather than just being CPU bound. Um, that would be really interesting to see. But yeah, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then maybe stick around for another one. I've got a few on the Steam Deck, setting up a distro box on the Steam Deck as well. Or go and check out one on Alarma. Um, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll speak to you soon in your video. All right, bye for now. Bye. Right, okay, time to switch back to uh, gaming mode and play some games.